What's up guys, Mudbucket here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the bug where your PC crashes but your tower's LEDs stay on when launching Battlefield 6. This happens after getting the corrupted save files error, and your screen, mouse, and keyboard turn off, and even hitting the power button on your PC's tower doesn't turn your computer off, you need to unplug your whole PC to restart it. Well, the issue is caused by your motherboard not being able to handle the high power demands of your CPU. To fix the issue, we need to set Precision Boost Overdrive, or PBO, to Enabled, and choose Eco Mode, 60 65 watts in our BIOS. And if that sounded complicated, trust me and stick around because I'm going to show you how to fix the issue step by step. First, hit start, search for system information, then hit enter. Look for your processor and baseboard product, which just mean your CPU and motherboard. In your CPU, if you have a newer version, like a 5950X in my case, paired with an older motherboard, like a 450 chipset, this applies to you. So a 450 just means it's an older generation of a motherboard from 2018, which wasn't designed for high power newer CPUs like the 5950X. So now let's fix it. First, you're gonna enter your BIOS. So how you're gonna do that is restart your computer. Then when it's restarting, you're gonna spam the delete or F2 key during boot to enter your BIOS. Every motherboard manufacturer is gonna have a different looking BIOS and menu here on your screen, but your options are largely gonna be the same. So just try to follow along the best you can. So in my case, I'm gonna hit the right arrow key two times to go to the overclocking section. Hit the down arrow for advanced CPU configuration. Hit enter. When you're on AMD overclocking, hit enter. And here's where my motherboard puts the precision boost overdrive option or PBO. You can see it's on auto right now so we'll hit enter, hit the down arrow a few times and go to eco mode. Then hit eco mode 65 watt. Go right a few times then go down to save changes and reboot hit enter, and the next time you launch Battlefield 6, your issue should be resolved. Now, lowering our wattage means that we'll get 2-10% to 10 less FPS in video games, and that exporting videos might even be 20-35% to 35 slower, but we're trading speed for stability here. By the way, I tried all of these fixes on the screen and none of them worked, so please subscribe so I don't feel like I absolutely wasted my life trying to fix this issue. Anyway, that's all for today's video. If I was able to help you out, please like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.